This is Lily Hyatt, and you're watching Kink FM in the Skype Live studio. Lily Hyatt. Yes. I'm sorry. How's oh, it going? Like, where are you? Hey, Good. I'm sorry. You? How's it going today? Going great. Going yeah? Going great. Happy to be here. Hey, uh, you were at Al's Den last night? Yep. On a all, scale, all week. All week. Mm -hmm. On a scale of one to ten, how was last night? Last night, we were just dialing it in. So <laughs> I, I give last night, you know, like as a whole, the place gets a ten. Okay. The crystal. <laughs> Our performance, I'd give us like a six and a half. Okay. Tonight we'll shoot for an eight. I appreciate the we, brutal We did our honesty. own sound. Yeah. yeah. I'm honest, so we're getting it. We got six more nights there, so it'll be good. Okay. And then uh, you have a new record that just came out called Royal Blue. I do. Yeah. yeah. Give it up for it her. She made a out. record. <laughs> she made it. Thanks, y'all. An LP, a long play. Yeah, I do. I have the vinyl. I don't have it, the vinyl with me, sadly. I have the CD, though. I saw so. that vinyl. I wanted to get one of It's those. really cool. It's blue. so <laughs> It's royal It's blue. really rad. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so it certainly is. So, yeah, I'm excited about it. Sorry, I'm not talking into yeah, the mic. Yeah, get into that microphone. I need to get in that microphone. So I was trying to tune. So. so this was your sophomore album. I imagine there's a lot to learn from that first release and then going into this record. What did you learn? Certainly. Um, well, I just learned that I don't be afraid to try different things. And I really wanted to do that round two. You know, if you have the luxury of getting to make an album again, um, I made it on tape this time and we rocked a little harder because we felt like it and we made it a little quicker and the analog experience was really cool. It's very different from doing it digitally. So did you do analog on the first one? Uh, no, the no. first one was digital. So yeah, that was Pro Tools, and this one we did to tape. So both really cool, but really different experiences. Can you explain to them what that what that means? Some of them may not know. Yeah, well, when you do it on tape, you're you're actually recording onto an eight track. So as opposed to digitally, you have infinite tracks on analog. You only have eight tracks, so you can't layer. You have to be smart with you know what you're layering. If you and you and you can't do a ton of overdubbing. Because if you want to redo a vocal, well, that's on one track. And if you've got the seven others occupied, if you want to redo that vocal, then you're going to lose the first vocal on the tape. So it's fun. It's kind of thrilling. You don't get as many. Uh, you don't. You don't get to make as many decisions. You just kind of got to go for it. You're a little more exposed. Yeah. Exactly. You can't cover it up with all those other tracks. Totally. So, and you can't hang on to you know. Oh, well, maybe we'll keep that one. You can't hang on to that. You right. just have to get rid of it. Right. So it I like that. It turned out good. Thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you so hey, I like it. Yeah. Your dad's <laughs> your dad's kind of a famous guy. He's a musician. It's true. Her, her dad is John Hyatt. That's true. <laughs> it's true. He's a he's a great guy. Do you, so. w when you were young and you were discovering music, is that something that he tried to steer you into or maybe even steer you away from? Um, no, he was very excited when I won. I mean, I grew up with music in my house all the time. I imagine. You know, lots of Neil Young, lots of Paul Simon, you know, all sorts of stuff floating around and um, listening to my dad play. And he was really excited when I wanted to pick up a guitar. He was never pushy, but he was happy to, you know, be like, oh, okay, I'll get you your first guitar, yes. So <laughs> it was cool. It was cool. But he always was hands off with it. He let me do my own thing. But it was, you know, very, very supportive. So I appreciate it. We're very close. Do you still turn to dad? Do you turn to him when, uh, as a songwriter? Do you just turn to him as far as, like, the business side of it? Oh, yeah. No, I run a lot by him. When I'm in a pickle or, like, and we're very similar people. So it's, it's really nice to have that. It's nice to share that. It's like not only has he been through it, but also our, our minds think alike. We're quick to react. And we, we get a little fiery, so he can help calm me down. And you know, he's been through it, and and uh, it's good. It's really good. I feel lucky to have that. So yeah, that is cool. Yeah, it is. Uh, you're a psych uh, psychology major. I am. Well, that was like a long, long time, time ago. ago. Does that does that help when you're writing lyrics, knowing uh, how mi how minds work? I, I just mean, I think. I, what more helps is just being a really sensitive, observant person. Yeah. You know, the psychology stuff was cool, but I that was, like I said, a few years ago. And <laughs> I retained most of that in my short-term memory. So, I get you. Okay. you know, but, you know, just being clued in, whatever that means, and slightly introspective, I think is a very helpful tool in writing. I would know? imagine. So... Yeah. You know, not saying I'm the best at those things, but I do tend to like to watch 
things and then think about them a lot. Right. So, so when you meet her later, no, she's just analyzing your every move. And your every <laughs> hey, well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much. This yeah. is really cool. We're it's very really happy a treat. to be here. All right. Lily Hyatt, everybody. <laughs>